If a nuclear war broke out how long would it take for the world to end? Nukes will start landing within 2030 minutes. Most will have hit within two hours. But unlike what most people expect the vast majority of people will not be dead in two hours. If you're not in an immediate detonation zone you will likely survive. Most relatively unharmed if they took cover. Some burned severely if their skin was in direct view of the nukes when they go off nearby. This is why they teach duck and cover it's useless for the people in the immediate area of a nuke. But that's not most people. After the nukes go off the immediate danger is going to be firestorms houses far enough from the nukes to not collapse will still be set on fire by the flash of detonation. So lots will have to flee their home and look for shelter while nukes may still be falling in their area. In the hours after that radioactive fallout will begin to descend and you will want to be in some kind of shelter such as a basement at this point and remain there for a couple weeks at least. The more you're forced outside the worse your radiation sickness will be. The amount of fallout and time frame will vary greatly by location so you would want to have a radio to listen for specifics on your area. After this period many will have died. Most from horrific burns as there will be no medical resources to treat that many people. Radiation sickness will begin to set in from the fallout. Those deaths will take a while but still many will survive that as well with just increased cancer. Risk. At this point nuclear winter has fully set in. Their sky will be hazy from all the soot from the fires in the atmosphere you won't see the sun anymore. Temps will drop to very bad winter conditions in most places. This is where the slow death begins. Food stocks will not last to feed the survivors and there will be limited ability to grow crops for several years. This is where the world will mostly end. Nuclear winter has recently, as our climate models have improved, been shown to be not as long lasting as we feared but it will still last several years which is long enough to starve 99% of people anyways. Pockets of humans will definitely survive though. Some areas near the equator will be able to grow some crops as well in the first couple years. Eventually the earth will return to normal and new civilization will spring up. Too many unknowns to speculate at that point. Definitely not talking Stone Age people though. How do you define the end of the world? It's possible for 90% of us to survive and still have a societal collapse. About 7.59 billion years. But seriously. A full-scale nuclear war would kill a significant percentage of the world's population. Either directly from the blast or fallout or indirectly from the breakdown of the logistic stance. That keeps everyone alive. But pretty much only if everyone with nukes was deliberately trying to wipe out all human life. Would there even be a chance at reducing humanity to the point where it would be difficult to keep the species going? But a full-on destruction of modern society would be extremely difficult to recover from. The problem is that most of the easy energy sources are all used up and we have to use the aforementioned logistical dance to extract usable energy sources from the Earth. For the most part it can't be done by hand anymore. This lack of easy energy sources will make it extremely difficult to build back up the infrastructure needed to tap the existing energy sources. If deliberate action does end up destroying modern society entirely, humans are going to be stuck without high-density energy sources for a very, very long time. Probably longer than we were stuck without them in the first place. One the bright side. That would make it even harder to wipe out humanity. Provided we made it past that initial slump. Depends on what you mean by, world ending. If you mean the death of all life on Earth, then I don't think a nuclear war would achieve that as it's believed cockroaches and perhaps even Keith Richards could survive a full nuclear exchange. Depends on definitions. What do you mean, the world ending? 
All detonations would be done within an hour or so. All major population centers would be gone. However it would take many years before all secondary effects. Atmospheric changes, fallout spread, food store depletion, etc. would have its full effect. Life would survive. The planet would survive. In a few hundred years. Most of the radiation would revert to background. More or less. Heck. Even a few humans might survive to try again. There would always be Australia. If any nukes were aimed at Australia, they would end up in Austria because people can't tell the difference. Shall we play a game? The world won't be destroyed. Even by our most destructive estimates. Not even one-tenth of the world's population would be killed. Hundreds of millions of people would die. And that's really bad. But not nearly enough to cause an immediate collapse. Most deaths and problems would be slow creeping ones. The loss of electricity and militaries and healthcare and emergency services and sanitation and infrastructure in general and such would be the real problem. A lot more people would die. And society would look very different after. But it still wouldn't wipe out humanity. 15 minutes. A couple days for large cities. After that much of rural towns and empty land would hopefully be left intact. This video is about this very thing https colon slash 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 wmp 3 mbjsx 20 C equals A U C R G U 7 J M U E Q B V W B Y'all think that the human species won't survive? I think even if the whole world gets nuke human species would still survive. It'd be like a great reset. Think about all the humans that had ever live and all the catastrophe and plagues that ever happened in human history. Well we are all still here aren't we? We still got all these buildings and everything else proof of ancient great civilization. Just think about it. The earth is older than your grandma's grandma's and we still here on our devices posting in commenting on reddit watch the film threads you'll cry it's terrible earth want end the age of humans is just very likely to end knock yourself out and have a go yourself for 25 dollars https slash slash nuclear war simulator dot com https store.steampowered.com slash app slash 1603940 slash nuclear war simulator the world wouldn't end fuck probably depends what countries are involved assuming all or at least all are protecting themselves likely days shit would get ducked after the first strike though as far as Fallout 4 says, 3 hours. It wouldn't. There is a movie called Threads you should watch about the realistic aftermath of a nuclear war. It's horrifying. And it's free on YouTube. HTTPS. YouTube.be slash BB32 Oyas 99M. C equals X Gish G W B W U Y W 4 meters 8 days. It'd probably be a tit-for-tat exchange. Neither side would launch massive volleys at once. Even after going nuclear they'd want to leave some iota of wiggle room to pull back. So after Washington, NYC, Beijing and Tianjin are smoldering the rat of the country can still decide whether it's worth pulling back or just rage quit. If you enjoyed this video, Please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aircast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.